Berthu is tearing through poultry farms, the worst it's ever been. And this version of the virus is different. It's transferring into new species, and for the first time, we've seen it in dairy cows. Which begs the question, what does this mean for the milk that you and your family drink? If you remember last year, egg prices were absolutely through the roof. It was ridiculous. Prices were up about 70% and you know why? Bird flu. And steep egg prices, these are annoying enough. Trust me, like I complain every week to my boyfriend just how much money we spend at the grocery store and we're only paying for food for two people. But I fear with this version of the bird flu, things are only going to get worse as this year goes on. The new version of the virus that emerged in 2020, this is the version that's got me worried. And this is why you have me, a food scientist, talking about bird flu, because this type of bird flu, I'm worried about the food supply more than just egg prices and anyone who works near these types of animals. Because something unprecedented has happened, the bird flu jumped to a new type of farm into a dairy farm. We don't know exactly how bird flu first got into cows, but our best guess is that either a wild bird that was infected was flying over maybe a pasture or grazing field that cows are in and either pooped or shed the virus on that field and the cows picked it up, or maybe some type of bird stopped and ate some of the cattle feed and shed the virus there. And then of course the cows ate the same feed and they started getting infected. There is some good news. The cows don't seem to be getting as sick as the chickens were. So the cows are tending to make a full recovery within a couple weeks. The bad news though, we are now seeing the cows transfer the virus from cow to cow. So as of June, I was reading that over 80 dairy herds in nine different US states actually see the bird flu in their population. So that's not good, it's definitely spreading. There's no doubt with all this happening, there's an increased risk to our food supply, any foods that come from farms, but also to the farm workers themselves. And in the US already, three farmers have reported coming down with the bird flu. And luckily so far, the symptoms are mild, so they all recover naturally, but this is definitely not moving in a good direction. Luckily, the virus doesn't seem to be able to transfer from person to person now, so we have that going for us. But what scientists are really worried about is that people are going to start getting bird flu if they drink raw milk. This is because researchers that have taken milk from an infected cow, when they tested that milk for bird flu particles, like the viral particles, they reported that there was like an astonishing amount of these particles in the raw milk. That it was more, more than they could ever like culture of this virus than in a lab. If you purchase your milk at the grocery store like I do, then you don't have to worry because this milk, it is always pasteurized before it gets to the grocery store. Pasteurization, this just means it's heated, so it undergoes a heat treatment to destroy uh, bacteria, viruses, everything that could make you sick. So milk from the store, safe. What's got me worried in particular is that 30 US states allow raw milk to be sold in some form. Now under the FDA, like national law, this is actually prohibited, raw milk is prohibited, but several states, there are loopholes around this and you can sell raw milk as long as you sell it within that state's borders. My advice to you, stay away from raw milk. I mean, for so many reasons, one of which now is bird flu. And I have several videos where I talk about the health and the nutrition of raw milk and regular milk. And I'll put the links in the description, but I know from these videos that some of you are like super, super into your raw milk, like you must have it. If that's you, I mean, just know the health risks and don't share this raw milk with anyone who's young or old, pregnant or immunocompromised already. That is what I would ask. 
If you enjoyed this video, next I would recommend watching my video where I compare the nutrition of raw versus pasteurized milk.